junkyard now. Uh, so picked up a Tacoma, pretty cheap uh, with a blown engine. So I figured I'd just do a video quick on uh, what to look for in a junkyard engine, uh, since you don't really know the you don't necessarily know the mileage or condition or whether the engine was running or what the deal is. Uh, typically they'll offer a warranty, but that's only I think 30 days at this yard. So if you don't have it in and running and know that it's going to be good by 30 days, your SOL if it's uh, not a good engine. So always a good thing to check is for big body damage. If it looks like the you know the vehicle, truck, car, whatever was hit uh, and totaled, like this one, like this has frame damage. It uh, well not frame damage necessarily, but enough body damage that this truck was probably totaled because it's a '98. Um, so this is the 2RZ, which is a really good engine. So I'm pretty confident it's good, given the fact that. There's pretty good body damage there, and it's an older truck. Uh, so, and it's a five-speed too, so this probably ran pretty well. Uh, what you can look for, which I'm not finding anywhere on this, it has an electronic odometer, is uh, look for odometer reading, so you can get an idea of mileage if you can. Uh, I might try and plug uh, a drill battery into this, but it got kind of melted. Uh, and then uh, jumper, the uh, ignition switch uh, to get uh, odometer reading out of this but uh, if I can't get that then I'm kind of uh, uh, out of luck as far as finding out the mileage so what you can check for otherwise is stickers on the door frames for like a timing belt or oil change uh, sticker up here which this does not have um, and then items in the glove box old receipts and stuff like that that might have the mileage from a shop um, just to get an idea of how many miles are on this thing. This has nothing. So I am in the dark on um, mileage for this truck. But from the looks of it, other than the body damage, it looks pretty straight. The wear on the seats isn't bad. So I'd say something maybe like 150K. Maybe 160 or so. Um, but without actually knowing, it's hard to say. Uh, engine looks good. Um, no real leaks, it's just a bit dirty. Um, but uh, I cleared out all this uh, the radiator and condenser and fan and everything like that. It was all crunched. But the engine itself looks good. And then another thing to check is for uh, compression and that you can actually spin the engine. So if you get to the crank pulley by hand, you want to make sure that you can spin it by hand. But when you hit that compression stroke, you do want to feel some good compression and some resistance there. If you got that and it gets hard and then turns over, you get to the next one, and you get that compression again. That's a good sign. This is a good engine. So, otherwise you can check, uh, you can pull a spark plug, uh, see what you can see in the through the spark plug hole. Uh, sometimes it's a little tight, but then you can also Pull the intake manifold, exhaust manifold, if you want it from here, from the head, and uh, check the valves and everything like that. This looks a little oily, but again, looks like probably 150k or so. So I think I'm going to pull this engine.